You know, well, Mary, Mary, when I was reading about this story, I was amazed that in some of the capillaries, when you went to, to pull them, they snapped right back. Are you amazed at the quality of these remains? Absolutely. 70 I, million years old, huh? It it's just doesn't seem possible. But yes, you can actually take the vessels, and they, they do have internal components, and so you can take a probe and kind of squeeze those things out into solution, and, and the, the vessels are fine. It's just, I, I can't explain it, to be honest. Um, like I said, a lot of our science doesn't allow for this. All of the chemistry and all of the molecular breakdown experiments that we've done don't allow for this. So if this material turns out to be actual remnants of the dinosaur, then yes, I think we will have to do some, um, certainly rethinking of some of the basics of the model of fossilization.
Touch your tongue to that. She actually wanted me to lick it. It's supposed to stick like Velcro. Oh, oh <laughs> it did. That's that bone. Mean? That's how you can tell. Yeah, because the bone is filled with, with little capillaries. And when you put your tongue on it, the moisture from your tongue sucks up the capillaries. This is 80 million years old and it can do that? Yeah. Well, it is, it is, it's very amazing. It's uh, utterly shocking, actually, because it flies in the face of everything that we understand about how tissues and cells degrade. And one of the exciting things about this discovery, correct me if I'm wrong, is the fact that this stuff was fossilized as it was. At 70 million years old, you don't expect to find soft tissue, do you? Not at all, no. It's, it was utterly shocking. When you think about it, the laws of chemistry and biology and everything else that we know say that it should be gone. It should be degraded completely.